speaking of athletes, so I, I saw some quotes um, from some female athletes on pay equality in sports, and I, and I saw a quote from Carly Lloyd, and I thought, what the heck? You know, I'll reach out on LinkedIn, and she accepted my invite, and I have her contact information now. And, so that was pretty exciting. Wow. See if I can get an interview. That's a big name, too. That's not like a no kidding around. You know, I know. I was pretty excited. Carly? Was really excited. I, I bet. I bet. That's awesome. and, I'll, and I'll tell you in some ways, one of the key things to know about someone who has that heft to them is don't be afraid to follow up, follow up, follow up, and, and understand that like it's going to be one of those things that like when people of that ilk uh, are game to do it, oftentimes they just need to be reminded. And one of the best techniques is oftentimes finding, do they have someone who's their manager, their schedule, who can help you on that front? So that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, who's next on our, on our, the virtuals here? One cool thing. I can go. Yeah. Uh, okay. So one cool thing is this week I talked to a, um, a person who's like a Barnes, he created like smart Barnes basically. So it's like blending technology with barn management. Um, and so I'm writing a book about horses and that was really exciting for me. I connected with him on LinkedIn. He also go back to me and super, super excited to do an interview. So I'm excited to talk to That's awesome, that's awesome. The power of LinkedIn, right? Like the cold outreach and then uh, again, once you have them, follow up. And one of the things I'll tell you about LinkedIn too oftentimes is sometimes you may find yourself needing to start on LinkedIn and take the platform off onto email because sometimes people are better communicators on another platform. So don't be surprised if you move onto another platform as you go. So it's great. And then again, go back to that like standpoint of don't be afraid to remind, remind, remind because people when they're bigger names, oftentimes they're, they're game to do it, but it just may take you several months to do it. There's a guy uh, named Rob Casper who did a, had, uh, or excuse me, uh, di di excuse me, Dylan Dennehy who had a book about music and the, the founder of SoundCloud said, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I'd be happy to do an interview with you, talk about your book. And it took him about like, you know, 15 reminders, back and forth emails to get him eventually to send some quotes and information. So just don't be surprised if it takes you a little while. But once you have them on the hook, keep uh, after them until they say yes. The big reason to do that one is by planting all these seeds and getting people to talk to you and listen to you, you really will set yourself up to be able to get people to you know, reach back out to you, connect back with you. You'll be surprised how these may take off. One of my authors did outreach in the same period, in this kind of like time period when it was like, you know, early in the start of their book journey. And nine months later, she got an email back from someone saying, hey, listen, are you still working on that book? And she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm publishing it in a month, but maybe we could chat about it in that way. So sometimes these things just take a little while. Don't be surprised in that way, but hopefully they will continue to pay off um, over time.